Welcome back to the vlog, everybody. We're at Ebisu Circuit, and I gotta be honest with you, I haven't been filming for the last couple of days. We've been so ahead on content, I didn't want to end up too far ahead for when Maturi started, so that's what we've been doing. But the homies are all here. Colette's here, Adam's here, the whole Drift HQ crew is here. Grant's here. Mr. Oaks. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm good. I have no idea where I'm pointing this thing. <laughs> I feel that. How's your car? Good so far. Brand new wheels. I just dropped it so hard on the inside. I was no. like, don't no. I already bent it, dude. No. Wow. What are they, Advent RS2s? They're so nice. They look beautiful, dude. Beautiful. Most importantly, the question I want to ask you is, how's Japan? Your first experience, right? So, yeah, it's my first experience. So, it's literally been like, we go from here to Mount In. Yep. And then that's it. Yeah. But it's like, for what it is, it's been amazing. That's cool. It's, it's gonna get really good when you come to Tokyo. Yeah. I think that's when you'll kind of be like you know, so overwhelmed. That, it's good though that I get to be overwhelmed by driving in the track. Yeah. And then I get to be overwhelmed by Tokyo and all that that characteristics there. For sure. So it's, it's good doing stages. I'm also really loving that I, I get to hold the camera this high. Yeah, it's nice. I'm so used to like holding it down here. Or, yeah. Poor Daiki, it's just like. Yeah, always, always. <laughs> this is sick. Sporting the Yashio factory harnesses too. Looks great. Shout out to Chan. Yeah. Big shout the man. To the man himself. The shifter. Damn, this thing's clean, man. Looks good. Mr. LZ. Good to see you back here. <laughs> How's the car? You taking it for a few laps yet? Yeah, it's good. It's good. That's good? Yeah. How did this happen? She's just being nice. Love that. Jason even randomly showed up. He was telling me he wasn't going to come for Mitsuri, but his car's here and it's ready to shred. So I think uh, he'll be shredding out tomorrow with us. So that's pretty awesome. All the homies are in town. We're going to do some driving. I'm going to jump in the chaser. We got this thing fixed. Um, I'll talk about it later in the vlog, but it wasn't as easy as we thought. <laughs> but it's, it's working. like okay now it's time are you gonna like we'll go out and it'll be six cars behind us oh no oh yeah there yeah, it goes yeah there you go no, can't, can't say no. i think that's uh that's aaron how oh, is it yeah oh, almost right there <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right we're gonna do some driving with jimmy these nights the cleanest the cleanest car we're gonna uh it's just you and me just you and me just you and me i don't yeah i don't feel like getting chased by randoms so. all right let's yeah. do it yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. okay i'll make sure no one chases I came back up north to change them, but you can see my right side, we still got a fair bit left. The left side, 
kind of destroyed the whole edge of it. So I'm going to do some big backies make the most of these tyres before they're gone. And I don't think I've done really some massive backies with the new uh, FDF angle kit in the front. So I'm going to give the camera to someone over here and see what we can do. This new sign is just so iconic. I love it so much. We're just across the road, gassing up. I think we just put in uh, 47 liters in the old go in the tank. And then uh, we're gonna take this thing for a rip up at North Course and spend the last 30 minutes driving there with everyone. We got some fresh 235s on the back. Recently, I've been really enjoying uh, just running Kenda 235s. I think it's best we stay there just so we don't risk, you know, the transmission. <laughs> I really don't want to have to buy another transmission anytime soon. I'm hoping I can just get all the other ones rebuilt and then uh, we'll list those all on Yahoo Auctions and sell them as pretty much refurbished, brand new, rebuilt transmissions. So pretty much we're lucky enough to be able to still get all the parts that we need for them and uh, I got a guy local that can rebuild them. So gonna get that done when I got some spare cash. I know I probably shouldn't be saying this, but uh, so far transmissions lasted a whole day, which is good, really good. <laughs> <laughs> you need to make a hole. It would need to be a square. Yes, yeah, square Everyone's just kind of winding down after today's shreds. But I brought Daiki with me so that he can get a bunch of seat time and practice. He's just recently put an FDF in the front. Looks pretty cool. What is this doing here? That is so trippy to see at Evisu circuit. But uh, Daiki, how's driving at Evisu? Psycho. Is it good? Amazing. Guys. It's amazing? Yeah. Oh, wow. Sorry. I'm in the light. No worries, bro. I'm glad you're enjoying. Is the car okay? Choshi? Sometimes. Sometimes? <laughs> That's good. So he's been out here driving with everyone. I'm sure you'll see a couple clips in from uh, outside or something of him driving with us. But it's been really good having him here. And uh, I'm just really excited that he's going to get a bunch of seat time, which should help him with his next comp day. The Side X crew got a fair few upgrades going on here. We got three tire machines all set up. Even got their logo on the front of those things. It's so cool. In here, it's kind of all of our tires. You see, these ones are like marked for Colette. This is Drift HQ. Um, and then these are mine. I got 30 tires to myself here. We should do all right. Like I said, I'm going to be running only two, three, fives, just so I, um, I kind of like a little bit more evenly match with everyone. Because I do have the bigger turbo, I do make a little bit more power than everyone, and I want to make it as fair as possible. Hey, Squiddy. By the way, I don't know how me and Jake had never met before, but we finally met. He's really like my brother now. And, and you get me to work on your car instantly. It's, no, you offered. <laughs> And I apologize because you were like, yo, this will take 30 minutes, we'll pull the G-Force out, we'll figure out what's wrong. And it turned into a whole fiasco. It wasn't too bad, I got fed, so it was pretty good. It was pretty good. <laughs> we're gonna be hanging out with Jake some more. I definitely wanna visit his uh, hometown in Australia and see if definitely. we can, we can uh, paint the town red. It might change soon though. Might change? Oh, mm. he's leaking stuff on nah. my channel. <laughs> you heard it here first, he's moving to Japan. <laughs> Sorry, back to our conversation, Grant. What do you think I'm most excited about tonight? 
bringing Adam LZ into the onsen. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy said you're not allowed to bring, you're not allowed to come. What? Jimmy said. Don't, I don't make the rules. Jimmy just doesn't want me there because it'll make him feel insecure. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I love this coupe so much. One UZ in there, by the way. But this is kind of like where we're stationed. You see all my, all my tools and stuff here. I got something for the chaser. Something that it's needed for a long time. So, I've had this really old air filter on here since when I bought this car. And it's been great. Oh, a little oil in there coming out of my, yeah. You know, we know this thing's been on low comp for a while, so that's kind of expected. Anyways. <laughs> Will you last another Mitsuri for me, please, Chaser? That would be amazing. There's a fair bit of oil in there. Should be right, should be mint. Um, yeah, it should be great. This thing's been in there for a while. A while ago, I tried replacing the foam and I got the wrong size one. So there's been a gaping hole in it for a long time. I hope my turbo's okay. But as you guys know, we've been running K&N oil filters and air filters on all of our cars this year. And uh, I'm hyped to get this here thing on, to get this thing on it. Beautiful, nice, fresh K&N filter. These are the best, they flow the best. Never any issues with them. I know a lot of the cheap pod filters you get out there, you may think they're the same thing, but they normally have a lot of string, like little uh, wires and stuff that aren't properly machined or trimmed off inside the filter. And that's very dangerous for a turbo car. It gets sucked into the turbo and messes stuff up. So always buy a pod filter brand. that you can trust, and K&N is definitely it. Oof, look at this thing, it's beautiful. Made in the USA as well, that's cool. Just got the fresh K&N pod filter on. Love how that looks in the bay. Also, I just wanna say a massive thank you to K&N because they include a brand new high quality hose clamp with every one of their pod filters, and that's sick. Car's fresh, it's got a proper air filter on there now, it's not gonna be sucking in any dirt. Should be mint. Hopefully uh, the low comp motor will last a little bit longer for me now. as possible. I'm going to be focusing on just really leveling up my skill and focusing on tandems and chasing everybody. The chase has held up great. The transmission's lasted longer than the last one. We actually think that the other transmission broke, maybe because of some kind of issue with it, because when we pulled the transmission out, you could see through the fill and the drain hole, the gear had completely snapped in two, and that's not supposed to happen. When a transmission normally breaks because of too much power or aggressive, Jason's here. Hey, buddy. I heard your car's down. Too hard on the gear, man. Nah, uh, it's something to do with your clutch broken. My clutch. My <laughs> clutch broken. Okay. Jason's running my old twin plate from that, which we thought blew my transmission. So, so if it lasts the weekend, then we you know it's me. It's my. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Have a good day. Yeah. So as I was saying, the gear was snapped in two and just sitting in the bottle bottom of the case. So we think there was something wrong with the gear from the factory. Actually, we uh, took some photos of it. We're sending it to Toyota and they're saying they're gonna replace it for free. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah, I did put a super single back in this just in case that was the issue. And obviously I can feel the difference. It's way less aggressive on it. Look at this guy, Jimmy warming up his car. But yeah, we're gonna head out and do some driving.
videos. ASMR coffee time, baby. I, I know, love I you. know the deal. I know the deal, Sam. <laughs> I knew he was a true pro when he gave me the old set with me. I'm yeah. just gonna say it. <laughs> fun at Toge course I decided to head back to north and well I'll let the video show you what happened because this is probably one of the scariest moments in my driving career ever <laughs> completely torn and burst there. It might be hard to see, but that's it. I don't know if my wheel hit it or if it's just too short and I need extended ones or what, but uh, maybe the FDF just like has a bit more angle and it hits it when it's on lock. But that was the scariest thing I've ever experienced. And I think I'm gonna try and get an extended brake line kit for it because that, that really scared me. That gave me a real big fright. I don't even know how this is possible, but Duarte from Drift HQ had a spare brake line. I'm gonna switch this out to a quick little how you going brake bleed and we'll be by. Let's go. I'm back at the hotel now, guys, and I just wanna to apologize. Today's video is probably gonna be a little all over the place, but I've just been really enjoying driving and hanging out with friends that I haven't seen in a long time, and I'm sure you can relate and understand that. At the end of the day, um, great couple days the scariest thing with the whole uh you know brake line uh bursting or getting cut and stuff was insane and i'm going to definitely make sure that with uh angle kits and stuff like that that we put on cars that we triple check for that and make sure like there's nothing hitting um or rubbing or anything like that that was definitely sketchy and uh, i should have gone over that at some point um i never want to experience that again where my foot goes to the floor especially going down the hill like that that was insane all i remember seeing is looking at all the cars and going i'm going to smash into them if i don't do something and uh the handbrake pull going down the hill kind of sucked even more because um we just kind of spun out in a way and that just made things a little bit more sketchier we ended up going into the woods a bit but i'm glad it worked out in the end we didn't do any damage and uh we got out of that pretty safe but with that i hope you enjoyed today's video smash the like button write a comment and subscribe one thing as well when this video does go live I will still be live for my subathon live stream on the Twitch channel for the Drift Mitsuri. Um, it's going to be crazy. Make sure you check it out. Um, I think by the time you watch this, I will probably still be uh, sleeping. But uh, from 9 a.m. JST, um, we will be back and driving for the rest uh, of the day and the last day of Drift Mitsuri. So make sure you check it out. We have the multicam where chat controls it. And uh, it'll be really, really good to see you all join in on that. Just search Samit and you'll find me on Twitch. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.